Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. We are going to feature some game rigging cheaters caught and I will expose them again. And I've got a question for you. I've got a question for you. Uh, if you catch a cheater in the process of cheating, what are the chances that that's the only time he's ever cheated and you just happen to catch him? I have a friend who's a cop and um, he always says to me when they catch someone breaking and entering and they charge someone with theft they all the crooks always say the same thing that was the first time I've never stolen before you got me I'll never do it again that was the first time I've ever done it and every cop knows that when they catch a criminal doing something like that it's not because it's his first time it's the first time he's been caught he's probably robbed 50 houses and now he's finally got caught well, guys, let's watch this battle, and I'm going to show you some cheaters that were stupid enough or unlikely enough to get caught multiple times. And let's stop the video right here and give you a flavor for how this is going to shake out. And just before we get into it, I just want to thank everyone who has continued to support my channel by subscribing and getting the channel membership numbers up. That's fantastic. Thank you so much to those of you who are sharing the video so that more people can be made aware of this issue. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. You guys showing me support is giving me more impetus. Is that a word? To keep going and keep exposing these cheaters. Let's look at this game here. There's a platoon on his team. An AMX 50B, an Object 140, and a T92 artillery. The T-92 artillery has not moved. He will not fire his gun and he will not do anything for the rest of the game. There's a platoon on the enemy team. An IS-7, a Leopard, and a T-92 artillery. Both platoons have selected T-92 artilleries so that they will be more uh, likely to fall into the same battle when they go 3-2-1 battle and they click battle on the matchmaker. The matchmaker will try and more likely put them in the same game because they both have an artillery. Wargaming, all you need is a little delay, 10, 15 seconds from the from the moment you hit battle. It doesn't mean you should get in the queue right away. Maybe there should be a, 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 a random delay for when you get in the queue. And these two platoons wouldn't have ended up in the same battle if, if one was delayed 30 seconds and one was delayed 5 seconds. But that's besides the point. Look where the uh, platoon members are going. The AMX 50B and the Object 140 are scooting to this position right here at G7. Guess who else is scooting to that position? The Leopard. But as it's going on here, our AMX takes a beautiful shot onto the Veiled Vehicle. And he moves up to fight this game. And he's going to fight this game. But we're going to uh, look in third person here and see the AMX 50B and the Object 140 just sitting there. And what they want to do is they want to allow the Leopard on the enemy team who moved up right here to just farm them. Unfortunately, in this battle, a TVP 5051 and an Object 268 have also moved up there. You notice, uh, the, you can see it on the minimap and you can see them right here. Two other players have moved up there. The Object 140 and the AMX 50B are just sitting there and move there. Maybe they're controlled by one person. I don't know, but they're just, they're just sitting there and their, their plan is to let the Leopard farm them. All right, the other members of the platoon, the IS-7 and the T-92 on the enemy team are just placeholders, are just placeholders. And where is the IS-7? We don't not we don't know yet. Where? Oh, there he comes. Here he comes. The IS-7 now. Watch this. Look on the mini map. Just surges forward. There he is. Surges forward to occupy the TVP and the Object 268 who are getting in the way of the rigging. He just surges forward there so that the Leopard could come around the corner and keep farming. And I look at the score now and the score is, uh, this game's over. This game has, uh, is a shit show. It's just a complete total blowout because, well, the Leopard on the enemy team didn't go uh, on, on the north and west side where usually medium tanks go. Uh, the IS-7 on the enemy team didn't do anything. And uh, his team that moved to uh, G7 there happened to encounter 
uh, the leopard and is and, and is pounding him and is going to break through. And basically, the game is now. So let's just stop it right here. What's the time on the game? Twelve twenty-two, twelve twenty-one. So that means uh, this game is two minutes, two and a half minutes so far, and the score is six-zero. This team's winning by ten thousand HP. Fantastic war gaming game. As you can see, the games aren't affected by cheaters. This is just a, a typical two and a half minute game, right? Is this the kind of shit we want? Let's just go to the post game stats and, and see this. So it, it ended up being a, a it ended up being a victory that, that took just a couple of minutes. Look at the score here. The artillery on his team didn't fire his gun. The object 140 moved into position to be farmed, didn't fire his gun. The AMX 50B moved into position to be farmed, didn't fire his gun. The Enemy artillery did fire his gun, member of the enemy platoon. The IS-7 who surged forward there, did he surge forward to fight? No, he just surged forward, didn't fire his gun. He just distracted those guys. While the Leopard here finished on top on the enemy team, he got his 3,851 damage. And none of these six players gave a shit about uh, trying to win or trying to uh, play as a team in this game. Let's look at some of these accounts. And I want you to remember the names. Let's look at the artillery on this team. That's his name. That is anonymized. His real name is this. Uroboro X is a recruit at the TDKP clan. Overall WNA of 1407. But of course, recently this account has been used just for game rigging. The last 984 battles, guys, a WNA of, of uh, virtually zero. This account's been involved in cheating for the last 984 battles at least. The account was trending along here at about a 15, 1600 uh, WN8 and then since the beginning of year has just plummeted to zero and has been consistently just involved in game rigging cheating. The object 140 on his team that just fed his HP to the Leopard. He is also anonymized. His name is not WOT Top 10. Uh, great anonymized name Wargaming. Uh, his name is this. And we have to thank Wargaming, don't we, for introducing the anonymizer so that these cheating pricks can have an easier time hiding themselves. But they can run, but they cannot hide from Detective Jason Anderson. Look at this guy. Account created uh, August 2020. From inception, this account is just a game rigging cheating account. Over the last 994 battles, this, has, this account has a WN8 of zero. Almost a thousand battles of doing nothing. And the AMX 50B here, guys, is uh, this, which of course is anonymized. Anonymized name, real name is this. We had a Pecoris is Kozak, now a Rek is Kozak. And uh, this particular account was created in 2020. Another account that shows just horrific stats, uh, simply used as a feeder account. Over the past 91 battles, this account has a WNA close to zero. On the enemy team, there's the IS-7 who didn't fire his gun, but did surge forward uh, to distract some of the uh, players. Let's check this account. Of course, it's anonymized. Uh, this is his real name right here. Player is a member of the IGG clan. Uh, overall WNA of about 1,000, recent WNA of zero. This account has played 987 of his last battles with a zero WNA. Almost 1,000 battles of game rigging in a row. The artillery on the enemy team that didn't fire his gun. That's his anonymized name. His real name is this. Honda Jazz, a recruit at the 60 Hex Clan. We featured this game rigging cheater on a past episode uh, of, that exposed game rigging cheaters. So this guy is a professional uh, cheater that uh, has been caught in multiple uh, uh, games. Over the past 750 games, this, has a, this account has a WNA of close to zero. This is a, a professional cheating account. Now, who was the account they were trying to boost? It was the Leopard here. He's anonymized, of course. That's his anonymized name. And his real name is Azitek. Azitek is a recruit at the PLPW clan. And he was the account here that they were trying to either complete some missions or to boost. Now, guys, keep in mind, remember the names of the cheaters that we just saw, that we exposed in the previous game, okay? This game took place four or five days later on the EU server sent to me by a different player that noticed a different strange happening in his game. And in this particular game, surprise, surprise, there's an AMX 50B, an Object 140, and a T92 artillery on his team. On the enemy team this time, 
There's a, an artillery, the same artillery, the T-92, a Patton, and a Super Conqueror. Now, in the previous battle, there were basically five cheaters and one tank, I'm confusing myself, and one tank they were trying to boost. The Leopard was the tank they were trying to boost. And remember, when I say boost, uh, it's not always, it will not always manifest in damage. You don't always see a cheating and the tank that they're trying to quote unquote boost end up with copious amounts of damage. Sometimes they're trying to do missions and not all the missions require you to do a lot of damage. Sometimes the missions, there's other objectives in the missions. Okay, so this guy's just playing the game and he noticed that uh, the AMX 50B and the Object 140 are just, look at the minimap here. I'm going to stop it right here. Okay, and we're going to zoom in on the minimap. The AMX 50B and the Object 140 are just sitting there waiting. Of course, the T92 is not going to do anything just like in the previous game. And the Super Conqueror has rushed across this bridge here. Okay, so all of a sudden you kind of understand, well, the Super Conqueror is heading towards the AMX 50B and the Object 140. The Super Conqueror's platoon mate is a Patton. We'll see what happens here. We're just uh, watching the battle. This guy's just playing the game. He's moved into a position where you know, he's trying to play the game. The Super Conqueror is going to... Oh, the Super Conqueror has to uh, fight a Chieftain and an, uh, on that um, corner there. And the Chieftain is calling help. Look at this. On the minimap, the Chieftain P is calling help. help. He's facing the Super Conqueror. An AMX 50B and the Object 140 now are moving towards the Chieftain. I'm looking at the minimap. I do not have the aerial uh, camera mod, guys. I just, uh, I don't have any mods. I'm not installing a mod because if I have a mod uh, on my account, I am, um, uh, I'm reluctant to do it because I think uh, I might get my account banned, right? If it's just deemed to be an irregular mod uh, because, uh, you know, I'm the guy that's exposing this stuff and I don't want to take any chance of being um, somehow accused of, uh, of you know, having uh, illegal mods on my computer. I have no mods. While I was saying that, you notice the Super Conqueror has killed the AMX uh, 50B and the Object 140. And now he's going to go kill this poor Chieftain P that's continually calling help, 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 help. He's calling help, 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 help because he had an AMX 50B and an Object 140 that didn't, that were just sitting there not helping him. And the Super Conqueror takes him out. And there's probably no reason watching the rest of the game. We do have to watch just a few more seconds here, guys. Look at the minimap. The Super Conqueror has now cleared the bridge. The T92, who had done nothing and has not fired his gun, look at the minimap, now starts moving up into pos position. You see him on the minimap there? Why is he moving up into position there? Because he can actually. Well, I haven't done nothing all game. I'll just move up into position and he's going to feed the Super Conqueror. Are you watching the minimap? He's moved up. Boom. The T-92, who was just a placeholder, said, Oh, I can give you another 500 HP of free damage. Let's look at the post-game stats now. So it ends up a defeat for our poor uh, uh, Wolfie. Thank you for sending me this replay in your Yag Tiger. Let's check these accounts. And you remember the previous game's cheaters? This game took place on uh, February 14th. The first game we watched took place February 11th. So three days later, the Object 140 here is anonymized. That's his anonymized name. And hey guys, look, is Kozak. Is Kozak. The Kozaks are back. A professional cheater who is a recruitment officer at a clan. 996 battles in a row with a zero W and eight guys. The AMX 50B, he is anonymized, but his real name is, surprise, surprise guys, Arrakis Kozak is back. The same cheater that was involved in boosting the Leopard or helping the Leopard complete missions in the first battle that we watched is now uh, boosting uh, the Super Conquer. The T-92 artillery, anonymized name, real name. Remember this guy? Same cheater from the first game. We'll check these quickly. I want to see if this, uh, the guy they were boosting is the same guy. Uh, the artillery, anonymized name. Surprise, guys. It's Honda Jazz 1. Same cheater that we saw in the first game. Patton here. It's a different tank. The Patton. That's his anonymized name. There he is. This is the same guy from the first battle, isn't it? Same uh, cheater uh, that we looked up his stats from the first battle. And let's see who the client was, the Super Conqueror. He's the client. Who is he? That's his anonymized name, but hey guys, look. 
His real name is this, Mazin93. Guys, this is a different client. It's not the same player as the Leopard. It's the same group of game rigging cheaters, probably working uh, for a boosting company, that are now boosting a different account. This guy is an executive officer at the SMA clan. You should be ashamed of yourself. Executive officer at a clan getting himself boosted. Overall W and 8 of uh, 1750, but recently, of course, he's a super unicorn. The same group of five game rigging cheaters boosting two different accounts caught on two different days. Caught and exposed and featured here on Klaus Kellerman's channel. Now guys, in this particular video, I featured two, two games where the same guys boosted two separate accounts. When you look at the stats of these cheater accounts, they've played a thousand games with those type of statistics. They've been boosting professionally for thousands of games. And remember, you're not always gonna see obvious examples like this. Some of the missions are uh, bounce 10 shells. So the client tank might be driving a mouse and the cheating tanks might be driving uh, medium tanks that are just going to bounce on him. And you won't see in the post game stats one particular tank that did all the damage. We, we get to see these two examples because uh, thanks to these two that sent me this replay, noticed in the post game stats there was one particular tank that did all the damage. But when a boosting company is trying to grind the missions for you to get you an object 279E, they're not always after the damage. Remember that. This problem is much more embedded in the game and much bigger than we think. Uh, every time I uncover some of these new boosting accounts, it's hundreds or thousands of battles that they've been doing this. Um, and I, in this particular case, these guys caught on separate days. Uh, I'm going to report these guys. If you guys would like to report these accounts as well, uh, feel free to do so. I'm going to check back in a couple of weeks. These accounts are on the EU server. I'm going to check back with the uh, accounts that the five that were doing the cheating and the two clients. And I'm going to see if these accounts are still active on the EU server. My guess is if I check back in two weeks, they'll still be playing. And Wargaming, I have no idea why you do not take this problem seriously. Uh, I'm going to keep featuring this stuff. I'm going to keep, uh, uh, if you guys keep sending me the stuff, I'm going to keep showing it. Uh, we're going to raise awareness with this problem. And one day, one day, uh, maybe, my, Marty, my, guys, Marty's here. Marty, what am I doing wasting time making a video on, on cheating pricks when it's your time to go for a walk? It's Marty's time to go for a walk, guys. So I have to end it there. Leave some comments. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. And, and you can rest assured, Marty will never play World of Tanks. Will you? I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good boy. I know, I know. Yeah, good boy.